Hello everyone, I'm Olivia and today I'm gonna do the ultimate book tag. Now I know that's kind of an old tag, you know, some people have already done it a while back. I'm not sure even who made it, but my friend, she edited the version for me because some of the questions in there um, have to do with certain books I've never read and just different things that I've just never done, so she just kind of tweaked it a little bit. But, you know, we'll get right into it, and I believe it's only 15 questions, so here we go. First question, when you're reading in the car, do you get sick? I do get sick. One time I went to the beach, and I was reading the part where uh, Katniss was with Rue, and she was laying down the flowers. If you know, I'm trying not to spoil anything. If you haven't read the book, uh, The Hunger Games, which you should, but anyway. It was just such an emotional part and I was in the car and feeling so sick and I was just like on the verge of tears and it was just such a horrible experience reading that part of the book and it was like the saddest part. <sighs> so yeah, I don't I don't read in the car anymore. Number two, what is your favorite book? Um my favorite book right now is Divergent, and no, it's not because of this huge hype or anything. I read this book back in 2012, and it just, the story connected with me, and I just fell in lo love with the character, or characters, and just the story, and uh, that's my favorite book right now. Number three, who is your favorite author? Well, I guess it's uh, Veronica Roth, also. Uh, Lauren Oliver. These two are my favorite authors because they actually both inspired me to stop writing, so uh, it's really hard for me to pick which one's my favorite. I guess I'll just go with Lauren Oliver since I just picked Divergent. That's from Rock Club. Number four, which genre do you prefer? I guess right now it's dystopian. Um, I've just been reading so many of those kind of books right now. And so I guess dystopian or like kind of realistic kind of books, I guess if that's a genre. Uh, but yeah, I would say it's dystopian right now. Number five, what is your favorite book series? This one is Uglies by Scott Westerfield. I've been a huge fan. Like this book actually got me into the whole fandom world and everything, so this is definitely my favorite book series. Number six. What is your first book you remember reading as a child? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I have the book somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where it is. Seven. Bookstores or library? Definitely bookstores, but when I don't have any money to go buy any books, then it's definitely the library, so that one just varies, but it's mostly uh, bookstores because I get to display it on my shelf. Number eight, how many books do you own? Let's see. I own 43 books. It would be 44 books, but I'm sure many of you guys gone through this where you let someone borrow a book and you haven't heard from the book in about a year. I guess I'll we'll just go with that original number. Do you read before bed? I do. I'm not really supposed to because when you read before bed, you end up staying up till like 1 or 2 in the morning. So I try to avoid that. Usually if I do read at night time, it's because I'm in a really intense part of the book and I've been wanting to finish it, or I'm really tired but can't go to sleep so then I read a really boring book, which usually ends up to be good and then I just end up staying up the rest of the night. So I just typically try to avoid that. So the answer is sometimes. Number 10, what is your most comfortable reading position? Um, I would say laying down. That's not really comfortable. It's kind of like a half laying down position, but also like kind of sitting up because 
doing this while we're eating, you know, on your side. It's just very uncomfortable on this arm and then on this arm whenever you change. So I guess it's like half laying down and, and sitting up so you can just play the book right there on your stomach. Number 11, what is the most recent book you've read? Um, I'm not really sure uh, what that includes, but right now I'm reading How to Love by Katie to, to something. Her name's right here, as you can see. I'm reading this book currently. And the book I read before that was The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider. Um, I do want to thank Epic Reads for sending me this book because it is a signed copy, so thank you very much, Epic Reads. Number 12, what quote from any book will you never forget? Why is it significant? I would say the most significant quote to me, or really that stands out to me right now, is Be Brave from Divergent. Uh, it means a lot to me because it's just you have to be that. You know, you have to be brave in life. So it's just, it's really stuck with me and that's even my username to a lot of stuff and I know it's a really popular quote right now but that is just my favorite quote. 13. What book can you read hundreds of times and never get tired of? Um, now that is a book I've already mentioned, Uglies by Scott Westerfield. Why it would be this book, this is just some book that would never get old to me and just it's almost like divergent because it just empowers you and just gets you to keep going. So that's kind of how I feel about Ugly by Scott Westerfield. So yes, this book I could read a hundred of times and never get tired of. Number 14, bookmark or random piece of paper? I do like bookmarks. I have very nice ones as you can see, I guess, but I really, really, really like bookmarks. But I try to use a piece of paper because when I'm reading and it's getting to a tense part, I start chewing on the bookmark. So I don't really want to chew on this. So yeah, it's typically a piece of paper because I chew on it. So. Number 15. Can you stop reading any time you want or do you have to stop at a certain page, chapter, parts, etc.? Well, I guess one part is when the chapter ends because it's just I need to know how the chapter ends before I go to sleep or something. Um, but then usually when I finish that, it, then I just keep reading. It's like, I'll finish at this chapter and then you just keep reading, keep reading until you pretty much finish the book. So, Typically, I like to stop at a part where it's kind of slow in the book, so that just kind of, you know, so it's usually in the middle, or sometimes it is at the end of a chapter, but it's always when it gets really slow when I can just pick it up the next day, so yeah, I guess it's in the middle part. Well, thanks guys for watching my ultimate book tag. Uh, thank you very much for who helped me create this list. Um, it's very fun and I hope to be doing a lot more tags in the future. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye!